lift off. Triumph for Jeff Bezos as his rocket ship, the New Glenn, blasts off. <laughs> there were squeals of delight as the rocket named for pioneer astronaut John Glenn launched from Cape Canaveral in a blaze of glory. The Amazon founder watched from the control center, arms folded, as Blue Origin employees across the nation celebrated. What a day! It's the first successful rocket launch from Bezos' company, and even his rival, SpaceX boss Elon Musk, expressed delight. Well done, Jeff Bezos and the Blue Origin team. Bezos' success came just hours after President Biden delivered his farewell address to the nation, in which he targeted Bezos, Musk, and other tech billionaires without naming names. I want to warn the country of some things that give me great concern. Today, an oligarchy is taking shape in America of extreme wealth, power, and influence that literally threatens our entire democracy. Watching just off camera, First Lady Dr. Jill and Veep Kamala Harris held hands as the president spoke, despite claims that in private there is tension between the two women. Also there, Hunter Biden, his wife Melissa, and their son Beau. Here in our nation's capital, preparations are continuing for Monday's inauguration. All of the flags have been lowered for 30 days to half-staff to honor the late Jimmy Carter. But as a concession to President-elect Trump, on Monday they will be raised just for the day to full staff. Today, the Trump transition team released official portraits of the president-elect and J.D. Vance. Notice that Trump's portrait is strikingly similar to his famous mugshot. Trump also paid tribute to his key Hollywood supporters, John Voight, Mel Gibson, and Sylvester Stallone, naming them special ambassadors to a great but very troubled place, Hollywood, California.